Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 22 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell and follow me in this long adventure. Okay, last episode was quite great. Let's see what's going to happen to the prince. I'm a little bit scared because Bradley, mm, you know what I mean. Are you ready to watch this guys? I think it's time to watch it. Let's check it out together. No! No! Yes, he can. Wow. Go away, Prince, please. Yeah, I don't think he is what he is, uh, where he is supposed to be. He's hiding something, I guess. Whoa. Oh, no. Why if Edward could come right now? Oh yeah. Oh, don't tell me. Oof. Yeah, I think so. Mary, come on. We are not alone. Scar. Uh, if only Edward could talk to Scar in a different way. Oh, but he, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope Weir is not going to know about what happened. No! No, 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 no! Nice question, anyway. That's not true. Yeah, I agree with this. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. No, of course not. No, no. Yeah, but I can't believe this. That's true, but that's wrong at the same time. Yeah. Oh no, he's going to say that. Don't talk about Weary's parents, please. No.
No! No! It's too long. No, weary. No, don't do that. No, you're not going to solve anything. What the air? I know. I thought that, I thought it was the prince. Who was that? Ah, that one in prison. Yeah, now I remember him. Okay. Does he have an arm if he if he lost it? So he's going to use alchemy to regenerate his arm. But he sacrificed himself instead. Yeah. Where is mom? But why does he see that they have blue eyes like that? Oh! Yeah, that, that detail.
disaster. <laughs> no, don't do it. No, are you crazy? No. No. As always. Yeah. Don't. Don't join forces, and that would be amazing. Yeah, but I'll wait. I mean, that's good. <laughs> I know. Yes. 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 Yeah, I like your parents. Wow, this episode was so nice. First of all, I want to tell you one thing, and it regards the prince. Because at the beginning, I thought, okay, the prince is useless, or the princess just wants to make you laugh, and uh, there are just these uh, ironic moments. But who is the prince? We still need to know more about him. How he changed his personality is as soon as he saw Bradley and as soon as he saw his comrades dying. Okay, this is a shift. I mean, this is a change. Personality or attitude makes me understand that the prince story is deep and we just saw the surface or we just saw the first layer, but we still have to know more about him. We still need to know more about what are his intentions and what he is about to do next. I can't wait to watch this because I think this is really interesting as a character because he is the typical character. Uh, at the beginning, you don't believe he can be serious or there could be a story behind him, but that's totally the contrary. I think uh, the more we will go on, the more we will understand the prince's intentions and why. He's here. Is he here just to get in touch with these different type of alchemy or is there another purpose? Then let me talk about Bradley. I mean, Wrath. He is saying that there will not be a real king or a king, a kind king or a good king. I mean, a real one in his opinion. And I don't agree with this. I see that there is still hope in this story. And I think that there could be a great king who's supporting his people without using alchemy as a weapon and without using people going to war, people managing alchemy just because they are like weapons, like in the case of Edward, that he is used when he's needed and all the others are the same. I think that a real king has to protect his people and the fact that Bradley, we already know what's happening and we already know how bad he is. Let's pretend to say that a king like him doesn't deserve to be a king because I think a real king should be something totally different and I don't agree when he says that there's not a chance to find one. No, I think in the future we will have the king of army, the king of this country that could rule in a different way and could 
teach people different things, better things to go on living. And then let's talk about being really look. Uh, I totally understand her, but as I told you for Shiki no Kyojin, I don't like when uh, there is this never-ending path of revenge and never-ending path of killing other people. At the beginning I thought Winry should become like Gabi somehow, that she wants revenge and she wants to kill who killed her parents, but on the other side she's different. And I'm pretty happy about this because I really like Winry and I really like how she cares about the people she loves. That this could compromise her character entirely. So I'm really happy that she decided to step back and the fact that she didn't shoot was something amazing. I understand her pain, I understand her feelings and if I put myself in her position I can tell you that I can feel her. I mean, I really understand what she's feeling, but at the same time, I ha I'm happy that she has next to her people like Edward, all who are supporting her and who are trying to understand her as much as they can. And they are trying to convince her not to do the bad things that they already did as a mistake, because now Edward and all, they are learning from their mistakes and they can suggest Weary. So for the first time, we don't see Weary being like a mother or like a big sister who is supporting all and Edward, but here we see the contrary. We see Edward and all trying to support Weary and trying to understand her pain and trying to convince her not to do something bad because they had already done something bad and now they are repaying for their mistakes. So I, I definitely like Edward and how he's talking to her. I really like what he said when he said that she's not meant to kill other people. She is there because she has to save lives and to be something like a positive aura that can surround the people with the optimistic vibes and trying to save others. She is not that type of person and she doesn't have to become one. I can uh, find uh, Ed, some things of a Violet Evergarden in Edward because both of them right now they don't have their real arms but as for Violet I think that those arms can be so warm even if they are artificial because no matter if they are made of skin or made of metal the important thing is what your heart is trying to convey through those arms. And I think that when he was uh, trying to hug Winry, no matter if that arm was artificial, that arm was full of heart. That was really amazing. As much as I said it for Violet, I think, yeah, the power of heart, no matter your arms and legs, that's what counts, that's what matters. Another thing is Scar's life. Finally, we got in touch more and more about what happened to him and let me tell you, we judge so easily all the characters involved in a story. This is the perfect case because at the beginning we think that Scar is the bad man and he is trying to kill or as all said, you're trying to put yourself in God's position and decide what to do. Yes, at, at the beginning I told you this too. I mean, you are pretending to be God, even if you're not, and you're accusing others to be God, so you're doing the same thing. But now we discovered more about his story and we understand that he just wanted revenge because of his brother's loss. And he thought that all people who are using alchemy, they are bad people with bad intentions, just because he had a bad example in front of his eyes. But throughout all the stories that I watched, they told me that we shouldn't think about people, but about all people the same thing. All people are different and Scar is making this mistake. I mean, he is thinking that all people who are using alchemy, they are bad. They are not doing this for good and they all have to be judged as the same just because he had that experience and he said that was an alchemist, that was a state alchemist 
and that's why all state alchemists are all the same. But I hope and I believe that he's going to change his mind because once he will get in touch with Edward, if he can, he can change his mind and he can understand the pain even Edward feels about all and the pain all feels, no matter if his brother is a state alchemist, he is feeling pain too. So they can join forces, I guess. That could be really, really nice. This could be good because the more they join forces, the more they can uh, defeat Bradley in the future when they discover it. So that could be amazing. Uh, one thing before going on with the Ishbel War is that when Winry was recognizing what happened to her parents, this reminded me of episode 13 of season 4 of Shigeki no Kyojin when Nicolo discovered what happened to Sasha. I think that was really intense too and it was, the tension was there too because she was in front of the reality as it was and that was pretty painful. But regarding, yes, yeah, Scar's brother, we understand he was so powerful and he could use alchemy to regenerate this uh, Scar's arm by putting his own arm to him, because that's what I understood. Uh, he decided to transplant, somehow, uh, his arm to Scar, because now he had all these uh, tattoos on his right arm, and he found himself with, those, with that arm, and it was not his arm. He recognized it immediately, I guess that was the case. Or, once he could regenerate the Scar's arm, automatically these Irezumi, these tattoos, appeared. I don't know what to think about this, but I think both options are correct. Anyway, uh, Scar became what his brother was, and his brother wanted him to find a way to end that bad war that happened happened. I imagined that his brother wanted that Scar finished all this because in his opinion Scar was more powerful, more skillful than him and ready to do something like this. On the contrary, Scar paid too much respect on his brother and he wanted to take care of him as much as he could. As you can see, we can't judge Scar as the bad guy because I think uh, he really had a nice side of his personality too. He cared about his parents, he cared about his brother, he cared about his people. But eventually when he was attacked, then he changed. It's a little bit like Eren. The way he was attacked, the w what happened to his comrades, what happened to his family, automatically this situation made him change into something that is bad, into something that is wrong. Um, so I understand Scar too. I mean, if I put myself in his position, I can understand how does he feel. And when he opened his eyes uh, when he was at the hospital and he saw those people that had these blue eyes, so evident, I mean, that blue was evident, was clear. He saw that they were Amestrians and he decided, okay, let's end them all because I think that they are all bad. He had somehow the evidence in front of his eyes that they were not, but it was he was too shocked. He woke up in that moment, so he couldn't realize who was good or who was bad. He didn't have time. The great relationship he had with his brother, this reminds me of how beautiful is the relationship between Al and Edward too. Um, this brotherhood as a theme, it's coming back over and over again. Stay tuned because next Wednesday I come back with episode 23. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye guys, see you in the next video.